It is nearly one month now since Obamacare went into effect, but there are still a lot of people out there who cannot yet afford to pay for health insurance. A medical group here in Southern Nevada is working to help these people who can't afford the costly premiums through providing free medical help. Box Eyes Ashley Conroy filed this report earlier. Alfred Gardia fell victim to the recession like many in the state. I was cab driver two years ago and <coughs> basically was let go and my diabetes acted up. I lost my insurance. At 60, he knows the importance of getting medical help. He has diabetes, and until he found volunteers in medicine, he was scared he wouldn't make it. Basically saved my life because I was really having some serious problems with my diabetes. Gardia will likely qualify for Medicaid with Obamacare's recent expansion, but co-founder of Volunteers in Medicine, Gard Jamison, says many of their patients don't. Now, there's a common assumption that Obamacare or ACA will basically handle everybody. And that's a, a misassumption. Nevadans who make at or below 138% of the federal poverty level will qualify for Medicaid. Almost 16,000 for an individual and 29,000 for a family of four can take advantage. January 1, the non-disabled, non-elderly adults without dependent children are going to be, for the first time, um, eligible under the Medicaid expansion. In Nevada, nearly a quarter of the population is without health insurance, and about 260,000 now qualify for Medicaid. What we see is everybody between 200% of the federal poverty level and 138% of the federal poverty level. Jameson says it's people like Gardea who fit into this gap that come into the clinic every day, thousands still without medical care. So it's a large number of people, and people really underestimate how many people are hurting and how many people need access. Ashley Conroy, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. The state health department projects that in two years, about 33,000 more people will sign up for Medicaid under Obamacare's new guidelines than they projected earlier this year. And that will be about 501,000 people. As of today, about 320,000 are on Medicaid.